Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Uh, today I am going to teach a simple CRUD system using uh, Cshop.net. So I already opened the Visual Studio.net. Here, here we have a. Uh, I am going to create a new project file, new project. Here I am going to name it as Sales Sales Project. Click OK. Now we have to wait until the project is created. Okay, so now the form is created successfully. Now let's increase the size of the form a little bit. Now here I am going to drag the toolbox. Here I have to uh, uh, group box. Drag and drop over here. Here I have two properties. So here what I am going to do here is, here I am going to simply what I am going to do is, here I am going to uh, drag the labels. Two, three labels. This label I am going to name it as uh, text. I am going to name it as name. Say employee name. Name. Present a key. This one uh, employee job. Here we have the job role job role this one should be the mobile number that's it or on the shift key down and select all I'm going to go to the font increase the size little bit with bold 20 click OK uh, 20 is too much size let me reduce size as 16 it's enough let's increase the size little bit now you have to have a I'm going to have a text fields, uh, text boxes. So drag them. Okay. You have to order it. Perfect. Select this one. This one I have to do it as a uh, contact details, contact uh, employee details. This label I am going to drag one label. I am going to name it this one as employee details. Select this form, I'm going to name it as employee details. Here we have a grid view. Okay. Now here I'm going to drag the save button. Uh, button the save that's it that's the thing we have to do I 
after designing the form i back to my database i have installed the sql server uh, i open the sql server here i have already created the database which is md company inside the database we have created the table called contact this is a table which i am created uh, let's select and top row so you will be able to see the table right this is a table which i am created okay so here uh, right now let's this is a, a table we have designed we have to go to the design i hope you all uh, you know how to create the database in sql server and how to create the table and all okay so if i go through the structure this is simple structure column data type this that's it okay now what i'm going to do is here is let's go to the here this column should be the auto increment so here this is set as primary here we have to here go through that go through here identity specification is is true this specification is true yes okay okay here would make it as yes so it will be auto incremented so what i'm going to do here is let's back to my design so here first i'm going to go to this is a sample form so i'm going to add the sql server namespace in order to connect a my microsoft sql server so user system data dot sql client you have to add this namespace after that you have to establish a database connection so you have to establish the database connection you have to use this one right i will be explaining don't worry about that okay here i have created the sql connection class so you, you just write sql connection create the object con equal sql connection this is the connection in order to connect sql server and uh, visual studio this is the connection data source dot mean this is a local host machine so dot you can otherwise you can specify the name of the server here it got the connect this one should be you can connect okay uh, server name you can put it this one instead of dot okay dot is a local machine okay if you put dot it recognizes a lot uh, local machine in the internal catalog is your database name which is a md company this is a user credential of sql server microsoft sql so sa is a user id password is i have set as 123 while i i was installing the sql server i have set as 123 okay keep in your mind after that i have created the object of cmd of sql command object cmd data table object this is great uh, data table of dt i create dt that's it the simple stuff i have that did it after that what i'm going to do here is uh hi okay now what i'm going to do here is i have to go to my project create sql class and sql read these two, two things i just get these two things sql uh, data reader read create object string this is uh, this query we have to use it as uh, writing the sql code so here i already done this one i just copy and paste it because it's take too much of time to write the code okay so okay so i'll be explain after that i have set i have each and text box i have i would change the name select this text field here we have to change the name name i have to change it as the name property text name you just select that property you, you just type txt name present key job role select this job role present key mobile number your tent key okay right you have set it successfully after that what i am going to save button double click that save button here right here all the text field this this all the text field we have to assign it to the relevant variable txt name this variable txt mobile variable txt role this variable after that i have created the variable sql string variable sql sql equal this variable equal into the we have wrote the simple query insert into contact contact is a database table name this is the simple uh, columns i have specified the columns name role mobile values this is the parameters this all the things i just copy and paste here we have to put as a parameters okay this is the columns you have to specify the columns this three columns we have to specify here this three columns you have to set as a parameter how to open the connection 
first you have to check whether the connection uh, sql query and connection both are succeed after that we have to set the both those parameters this all the parameters you have to assign it here this 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 all the things what is the value you are assigning here it is calling here it is putting to the relevant parameter you have to set it here this this all the parameters goes and set the columns here after that if you call cmd execute non query method the message will be displayed record added after that you after add the record we we need to clear all the text fields text name clear mobile role and text text name it should it should have clear it would have, it would have clear okay it would have clear after that let's check whether it's working fine or not uh pita sales manager mobile number something like that hit okay record that perfect now let's okay perfect now i am going to view the records okay so view the record we have to write something i have to be explain it don't worry about that problem sorry sorry post there uh, okay, the problem is here that's it okay. now what i'm going to do here is we have to do couple of things after that i'll be explain it it's very simple otherwise we take too much of time to complete the project okay don't worry about that i will be explaining it don't worry about that this event should be here this one click on this one this event uh cell value change you have to select the property as cell value change this one double click on this one it's supposed to the value error go away okay, now here what i'm going to do here is here we have to set the set the thing as yes the thing you have to do why was our error here ah oh, here the color wall i haven't copied the one working i'll be explain it 
the stuff okay right now here this this program i bring by by the the you can see here data row color would be changed if it is a role the uh, color should be changed based on the role for salesman color would be yellow software engineer color would be red uh, project manager color would be display as blue other roles color would be white okay sales manager okay so based on the things we have to do the program so it is easily we have to uh, we have to uh, identify the role of the employees okay by the color okay if the salesman is in the this color project manager software engineer this all the color we have based we have will be easily understand understand by the color okay it's very simple so uh, how to done by this program here is first what i did here is first we have to load the table so how to load the table you have to create the data data adapter object ada e equal new adapter first we have to select all from contact select all from contact means this all the context table i am i'm going to load it okay load it you have to give the connection after that you have to load the data table we have to set the data adapter into fill fill it after data grid view dot data source dt you have to data grid view you have to there is the property called data source you have to set this dtt here after that you have to return okay so we have create the method data table data grid view this one method okay it will be written this method will be written here okay that's the thing we have all the contact will be displayed if you are if you are call this method uh, in the page load we double click the page load event double click it it goes to this event you have write dtt uh, equal uh, get data mean it is all the data will be displayed okay here we have to call the data data of dt mean it will be displayed here okay after the button i'm going to do here is we have call another color this is the this is the method we have which which, which will be uh, display the color of the employees okay if you have done this the without color the color should be display here we have write the another white method called color row we have pass an argument data view row row here we have row cell role role mean this is the database field role these are the roles we have to color okay role value is, is not null switch we have to put the switch case statement cell role value dot this one a case one case we have to put the case case salesman if the case is salesman the color would be we have display here written if the curl is equal the case is software engineer this is the color if it is a project manager this would be the color okay you can change any color set the red dot red mean it's a red light whatever color you okay you would be easily you can find it light blue then only the, you can check the the color is you will be able to see this uh, text okay here it will you will be able to see it, it will be light what the text would be light red to dark light blue light green lime green there will be there are, there are many colors lime green that put it as lime green this is perfect okay this color should be perfect you have to put it the color you will be able to see or not okay if you put the dark color you you won't be able to see okay here that's how our color set it here okay if it is if the other than the role you have to put the default color as white okay basically we have assigned the three roles other than the out of these roles assign the color as white how do we have to create the method private void color row for all roles we have to write the for each method in order to here we have to calculate this for each loop it we have to call this color row this one here here after the this one we have to call it here as to here after display this well after that you have to assign the roles that's the things we have done did it okay right that's the only thing we have did okay after that the the form load you have to data grid view cell uh, value change plus we have to equal to here this one then only this this one should be this uh, event change will be when the method that when the form is initialized this method will be called and change the color okay otherwise it won't change the color if you want call the 
uh, inside the form uh, initialize okay this of the program should be one okay don't worry about this source code i will provide in my uh t to swani website you will be able to download and use it your project thank you for watching if you have any doubts you let me know that thank you for watching